Hey, we're back to another exciting episode of Attacker Productions. We've got Trevor here, and he's brought a bass from the a bass, a blast from the past. Uh, if correct, this was set ten starter deck Frieza. Sure. Sure. I mean, I think it's thirteen. SD thirteen. Well, I mean, but it came out in set ten, I think, because when the, uh, the, the the starter deck came out. Yeah, that's the yeah. starter Frieza. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that's what we're playing today. Uh, buttons on both. Feel free to click them there for a reason. But let's get into this. Yeah. So we are playing. Uh, what our locals call degeneracy. Um, it is a hand control deck. I'll just go ahead and get that out of the way. If you don't want to play hand control, don't play this deck. It is literally all about it. Um, leader, it works great with a specific card on top of the fact that it loops stuff. Uh, so on the unawakened side, you can't include Saiyans. Uh, this matters because you can't you use Defending Father Paragus and you cannot use the Gohan either because they include super combos. So you have to use a some other form of a super combo. Uh, auto, choose one Frieza's army card in your battle area. Place it in your drop when you swing. So when this card attacks, uh, leader card, your opponent chooses one card from their hand, discards it, and then you choose one card from your, up to one card from your life and add it to your hand. If you don't have a card on board to do this, they do not drop, you do not take from life because it's part of the cost. Uh, awaken, when you're at four or less life, draw one, untap one. This side, when it attacks, you draw a card. So you don't have to swing because the activate main um, is the choose one Frieza's army card in your battle area, place it in the drop, they choose one, place it in their drop area. You give your unison, green unison a uh, critical for the turn. This is paramount for the deck. Because for some reason I like to do this occasionally. These are our negates in the deck. Two clones, four dormant. Uh, obvious choices for negates for green no boo, boo topo in this deck mainly because of deck space and consistency uh could probably still fit it in uh these are the super combos i'm running in this deck because it's hand control uh, when you combo with it they choose a card from their hand place it at the bottom of your deck or their deck it's great on top of the fact that it's hand control because you can do this at any life you can do it turn one if you have it they go from five cards to four cards and it makes their early turns a lot harder Two Rebrianne, because it's a great target for uh, the unisons we're running. You drop it, it's in your drop area. The end. <laughs> uh, I have some cards flipped around because after playing tonight, I do think ratios are changing. Uh, hey, hang on, hang on. Pause. Magic! Uh, so we're running four Champa and two EDK. The reason that is, is because your leader gives your unison crit. These are the things that you want to be using them on this allows you to use it on your unison to give the power this does not you sound like you learned that today for some reason yeah i may or may not have lost some matches because of this um anyway the the difference between them though is this one you randomly choose a card this one they choose the card so um uh, but the reason that you are running so many of those other than the fact that they discard is mainly because this guy um so the engine that you run both of these cards work off of it because both choose a card from your hand and you place it in the drop area this one you draw a card this one you cause your opponent to drop a card and they ko a card um you give this guy crit whenever you use the leaders activate main so now you have a 20k double strike crit which can be 35k double strike crit if they don't negate it it's absurd amount of power. Um, the activate main on the bottom is cool and all, um, but this one is definitely the play for this deck in particular. You're pretty much always going to plus two. We run this uh, just as a means of making sure our engine works because you want to make sure that you have some kind of unison in there for free dropping of cards. Oh, that's fine. Turn one, you're either playing this guy to search. He's a... Uh, I can't do magic. <laughs> Auto, when this card is played, look it up to five cards from the top of your deck. Choose a Frieza's army, energy cost five or less, or a unison with a specified cost of two, a.k.a. this guy, to make sure you have it turned to. Um, the activate main on this is also really sneaky. Uh, you can, if you don't have the Chompa in your hand and you're swinging with your unison, and they go no negates, you can tap one green during the battle step send this card from your warp 
or from your drop area to your warp and give your unison an extra 10 so it can be 30 off of this. So that activate main does actually come up in this deck um, just because so much of your power is around that dark Broly unison. Um, but ideally you're playing this turn one just for the search. The problem with hand control decks is they usually don't draw enough cards. This is how you're drawing cards. <laughs> um, Freeze Army Healing Pop allows you to draw a card when you play a card from your drop area. This guy gets dropped off of this or the Broly. Um, you choose one, you drop it. This is now dropped from your hand. It now comes into play for free. So you draw a card off this, and then you pop it with this. Um, let's say you don't have this in your hand. Well, you can activate main, pick it up from your drop area because your leader's a green Frieza. So every single turn, you're basically tapping one to rip a card from your opponent's hand for free and get more effects off of it. If you have pot on board, you're drawing one. If they have more than five cards in hand, this can be your target instead. Uh, activate main, tap one green. Uh, discard a card, play this card from your drop area. Also, draw a card off of Freeze Army Healing Pot. Auto, um, you can pop it with your leader. If they have five or more cards, it's removed by a skill, so they're dropping one off your leader, they're dropping one off of Zarbon. So they're dropping two cards if they have five or more. Um, you, de you decide the turn auto because they're your card, so choose this first if they have five, choose this second if they have four. More hand control! Um, this is just a really cheeky way um, because of the errata with the Broly, a lot of people realize they can't spirit boost to get the effect because it specifies uh, with a non-keyword skill. Activate main is not a keyword skill. You can choose to remove a marker from this, and when you do that, your opponent chooses one card from their hand and discards it because you're uh, spirit or you're removing a marker with this to grab these. Um, you can grab these out of deck or drop area. It's just a free 5k combo, and you're ripping a card by dropping this from your hand. Uh, obvious choice of Frieza Charismatic plus Zamasu. Um, just tried and true combo in any hand control, as well as control matchup. Frieza, following turn, tap one, play that. Swing, get rid of a card in their hand. Indestructible. Something that you'll run into with the deck is you might have problems killing them. This will help you kill them. You have a, a lot of extra card options between Freeze Army, Healing Pod, uh, Dormant, Homicidal Clones uh, to reduce the cost of this down to three. Even at four, it's still probably worth doing if you're just trying to kill them. Uh, its cost is reduced by one per two extra cards in your drop area or in play. So your in play pod count. Activate main. Up once per turn, choose one green extra card with any cost of two or in the or less and the field skill. In your battle area, place it in the drop. Choose up to one card in your opponent's hand, so you choose randomly. And uh, up to one of their battle cards, ignoring barrier, place them in the owner's drop areas. Then switch this card to active mode. So ideally, you don't care about the pod by the time you're playing this, so you're popping pod so you have a double strike dual attack in that sense with this card. Uh, it really helps you go for game if you don't uh, see another card that I'm about to show you. Ideally, all of your powers come in from your Dark Broly unison. If they'll realize that once they get down to two life, they don't want to die. Boom. Counter, counter. Because uh, this specifies if the card, if a card other than your leader card, aka Dark Broly Unison, is in battle, negate the counter attack, and then play this card. If they somehow combo out, now you have a 40k double strike to finish it up after that. Um, this card is reduced um, by seven. Um, Whenever your leader, whenever you're, you have a mono green leader, and it's uh, so that's the deck. Basically, you just want to continuously remove cards. You can remove two cards consistently, sometimes three cards, um, and even on the awakened turn. A uh, trick that you can do is if you have uh, Frieza Charismatic as well as another Frieza's Army card, you can swing with them on this side 
pop one of them, uh, awaken, and then pop one with activate main after the battle. So you're ripping up to four cards on a single turn in that case. So it works extraordinarily well. I have no idea how it works in best of three if Deborah comes into play, but um, it's it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's kind of degenerate as we as I said before, just because it's so much hand control. But it's a lot of fun. It, it's enjoyable. As I said, as of right now, we haven't been adding the uh, best of one cyborg, and yeah, I think we're starting that next month. I think, but. That being said, thank you all for tuning in. Keep in mind, there's buttons down below on the screen. And read your cards, know your poison, fluff out.